Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway, where there are just five races remaining in the regular season for the Camping World Truck Series. And there are no limits when it comes to the Fort Worth track, and playoff spots are still on the line as the truckers battle it out today in the Lone Star State. And we are going to break it all down right here on race day for the next hour. Hey, everybody, welcome in. I'm Kaylin Vinci alongside my good partners and friends here on the Truck Series, Phil Parsons, Todd Bodine. And guys, we've been racing at Texas since 1997. You've had a lot of good memories there, I might add, over the years. You got your cowboy boots on today. That's you guys are ready to go. You fired <laughs> up or what? Yeah, I'm fired up, you know. And Ben Rhodes has been in the Truck Series since 2014. But last week, he was able to capture his first Daytona win in the series. 2021 is off to a good start for the young racer and Shannon Spake sat down with him to discuss Daytona, his aggressive driving style and goals for the new year ahead. Fun. And speaking of that, you are no stranger to winning the all-star race, Chad, over the years. Yeah, it's very been... fortunate. We've had a couple of them. So it's been, it's a fun race. Man, I think we've won maybe four, right? Something well, like that. Well, I'm going to so... tell you right now. Oh, great. Because here is the list of the drivers right. who've gotten the most. Jimmy, of course, he does have four of them, to his credit. Dale Earnhardt, he's the next one. You see the guys here with three wins. Jeff Gordon also with three as well. So, uh, you know, as I talked about, it's a fun event yeah. to win, right? Or is it stressful? It's stressful. NASCAR is recognizing Pride Month and highlighting the commitment to supporting the LGBTQ community within the sport and beyond. NASCAR is proud to support the Trevor Project, the world's largest suicide prevention and crisis intervention organization for LGBTQ young people. NASCAR celebrates continued inclusion in our sport this month and throughout the year. Time to check in now at the racetrack with Jamie Little and Phil Parsons, who are in Daytona. They will be on the call for the ARCA race alongside Chase Briscoe. And Jamie, I want to start with you. You're getting set for your first broadcast as play-by-play -play announcer with ARCA. And I know there's been a lot of anticipation building to this moment. What has your preparation been like going into this? Well, but all eyes are on one of the rookies on that list, and it's Haley Deegan. Here are the reasons why. Well, Haley is no stranger to racing, and her competitive side came out initially on the dirt in a truck in 2016. She was the Lucas Off-Road driver. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. It's so great to have the three of you. Three very unique perspectives, I might add. I do want to start with you, though, Kelly, because you've been in the sport a very, very long time. How have you seen this sport evolving over the many years? Oh, gosh, it's changed tremendously. Hey, everybody, welcome in to a Wednesday edition of NASCAR Race Hub. I'm Caitlin Vinci. Drew Blickensurfer and Bobby Labonte will also be with me momentarily for the next hour. But first, let's get to some news. Earlier today, it was revealed that Eddie DeHaan, spotter for the nine team at Hendrick Motorsports, is currently charged with assault on a woman and battery of an unborn child, for which he was arrested on May 12th. These charges are a result of an incident in September of last year and a confrontation between DeHaan and his accuser at a jet ski rental business where DeHaan was a customer. That's pretty incredible. It sounds like you are definitely enjoying life, which is what it's all about. Uh, I don't know if you've had time to watch racing, but I am curious. We just had the big dirt Bristol event. This was a big to do in NASCAR. Did you get a chance to see any of it? And if so, what did you think? Okay, I, I and a, a true idol of mine. True idol of yours. And, and it's pretty cool for us today because he too is also going to be joining us here on the show, the legend himself. <laughs> Mario <laughs> <There's your surprise. laughs> What's up? <laughs> he had no idea that this he was great. <laughs> but Mario, what is this like for you to be a part of this? And what do you think of the, the paint scheme? Tribute for Very impressive balancing act you got there, Denny, because you also wear another hat because you are a father of two adorable girls yeah. who I saw were with you in Daytona for the first time in a while uh, and Molly was making the pick so to speak. I <laughs> love this photo that you posted on social media. Uh, kids, what do you know? I mean, they just picked their nose, uh, right? It, was it nice having them back though? <laughs> oh. Worst teammate you've ever had. Oh man, the worst teammate that I've ever had. Um, I guess I, I did good, right? Because I saved my plead the fifth for the last question because I knew it would be the I knew it would be the one you're gonna have to start mixing your questions up. You're gonna have to have two bad questions or two tough questions. So I'm gonna plead the fifth. All right, fair enough. Well, thank you, Kevin, so much for your time. We certainly appreciate it, and of course, best of luck to you this weekend. 